Hello everybody. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is uh, Sichamba Jacob. All right. So the first thing that I would like you to do before you, before I solve this question for you is to please subscribe to my YouTube channel if I've not yet done so. All right. To work out this equation, we, we need to copy it as usual. Okay. We copy what we've been given. This is very important. Okay, so this is what we have. So now, how can we find the value of x and y? y here and x. So the value of x and y. We first need to say let y be equal to kx. So k there is the constant. This is the constant. Okay. So we're going to plug this wherever there is y. This is how it will look like. x power kx is equal to kx power 3x. So this is what we have. All right. So now from this stage, we need to cancel this side, the x and the x this side. Now, how do we cancel? We apply the inverse. So we are going to apply the 1 over x because we want to cancel the x which is here. It's equal to kx and power 3x there. Again, we say power 1 over x. So you see, this x and x here will cancel. This x and x will cancel. So I think you can see the things that have canceled. This side, we shall remain with that x power k is equal to k x there power 3. So this is what we've remained with, okay, after all the cancellations. So now let me do this. From this point where we have x power k is equal to k x power 3, we are going to make or try and make x subject of the formula. So we shall maintain what we have this side. And this side, we're going to apply this power. So this is how it looks. So what we have here and what is here is uh, are just the same. The laws of indices here. So here, after reaching this point, we're going to divide by uh, x over uh, x power 3, and this side also x power 3. Okay, so this and this will cancel. Here, using the laws of indices, we have the same base. So we are going to subtract. So this is what we are going to have. x power k minus 3, which is equal to k power 3. So we are at this point. Now from this stage, to make x subject of the formula, we are going to apply the inverse rule. So this side we're going to put 1 over uh, k uh, 1 over k minus 3 is equal to k here uh, also the same. This side we put 1 power 1 over k minus 3 like that. So that uh, this and this cancels like we did right here this point. Okay. So let me copy, let me write here. I don't want to, I don't want to erase this part because it's very important. So let me just do this to differentiate what is here. So now we are at uh, x is equal to k power 3, here uh, 1 over k minus 3, okay? So when we work out things here, we we'll find that x will be equal to k power 3 over k minus 3. Okay, you see what we have? So this is the x value. Okay, we have made x subject to the formula. So whichever number, whichever value we put here will give us the value of x, except k is, equal, is not equal to 3. So k, k cannot be equal to to 3. The reason why is because it will be undefined if we put uh, 3 here. It will be 3 minus 
uh, 3, which is a 0. And remember, fractions, we don't uh, put uh, a 0. Okay? So, that's it. So, any other number apart from uh, 3 will be our solution. Okay? So, we maintain this. It's very important. So, now, after getting that, we come back to this stage where we said, let uh, y be equal to kx. Okay? It's at this stage. So now at this stage, we're going to apply the value of x. So y will be equal to k multiplied by k power 3 over k minus 3 there. So you see, I've just substituted this because value of x here, it's a k power 3 over k, k, k minus 3, which I've just put here where x is. So now we are multiplying same basis, those of indices here. What does it say? So we're going to get the base, and then what power is here? It's power 1, so it will be power 1 plus power 3 over k minus 3. Remember, laws of indices, when multiplying the same basis, you add the powers. So here it will be y is equal to uh, k power k over k minus 3. So this is our y value. You just find the lowest common denominator and work it out. This is what we are going to get. So now we have gotten these. And remember, k is not equal to, to 3. So let's try one. Say y. Uh, we say k, sorry. k is equal to 1. You substitute your 1 here. And here, you solve. You find that x will be equal to 1. Okay? So let me write it here x will be equal to 1. This is the x value. And if you substitute a 1 here and here and here, our y also be equal to 1. So these are the two solutions of which we can just write them as 1, 1. And uh, to find some more solutions, you can be testing. You put a 2 here on k or you let k equal to 2. Also the same this side. And so the solution that you get Will be your your will be the required answer, okay? Or if you want, you can use the graph. You can use the graph. The graph works well to find the possible solutions. The graph works well. So that's uh, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Sichamba Jacob. Please remember to comment, like, share the video, and also subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. Okay. To those who've subscribed and those who've been supporting me, I thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Keep on watching my videos. Bye-bye.